Hi, I've been soldering up some PCBs for the home lighting project. This project's dragged on for far too long. I really need to get these board finished soldering up. Now, I've suddenly realised how useful the assembly service from JLC PCB is because this is just so tedious. Even though there's not a huge number of components on each board, once you're assembling a few up, it gets really tedious. So uh, I did contemplate getting these remade and pick and placed, but uh, I decided to persevere. Now, I did want to clean up the flux residues on the PCB because some flux residues, although I don't know if mine in particular is affected by this, but some can become effective over time, so they can draw in moisture and then start to become conductive. So we could dunk these in the ultrasonic bath, which is something that I probably will do, but um, alternatives would be using something like this, so flux clean. This is about £10 a can, so quite expensive actually, and you quickly get through this when you start cleaning up lots and lots of boards. Isopropyl alcohol is quite difficult to find at the moment. I have actually got a couple of big cans in the garage, uh, but generally speaking, it's quite difficult to come by at the moment because everyone's buying it to disinfect things. So I was having a look on various forums, and I've seen it mentioned before. I thought we'd give something a try today to see if it's any good. So we've got some brake cleaner here. This is a petrochemical brake cleaner. There are some that are really quite harmful, but this one is mainly petrochemical based with some alcohols in it. It's extremely fast evaporating and I thought I'd see what would happen if we actually try and clean up a board with some brake cleaner because a can of this from your local local motor factors or Euro car parts or whatever is only about £2 for a can. It's the same size as the Flux Clean so actually very good, very good value and you can buy it in a 5 litre can for about £12 so then it becomes super cheap. So if it works it'll be really nice. Now what I suspect will happen is it will happily clean off the flux, but the question is whether it will destroy the PCB, whether it will destroy your components. I suspect the silk screen might suffer, so let's give it a test. So I've baked on various fluxes, including some of the most difficult ones to get off from my previous testing. Let's give it a spray with the Brett Clean. So it doesn't seem to be lifting any of the solder mask or anything like that on the board. So it's quite interesting, this brake cleaner has behaved very similar to the flux removers that I've used in the past. So all of the fluxes around the outside that were a little bit more normal have come off without any problem. Also you'll see that the solder mask and the silk screen have remained completely unaffected. It's only the area that had the very heavy rosin flux that looks like it just needs some additional manual abrasion. So if you give it a little scrape, it comes off, but basically it's crystallized onto the PCB. And this is what I found previously. The ones where you've got very high rosin content just don't want to come off the board. But actually this looks to be relatively gentle. What I wanted to also have a look at is on some ICs and LEDs and stuff, what would be the effect of brake cleaner, whether it starts eating away at the coating, whether you lose the ability to read the numbers on the top. So I'm just going to try that now. So after multiple applications and quite a lot of scrubbing, you can see that the markings on the IC are completely unaffected and there's actually been no other ill effects on the PCB. It's actually working really well. I don't know if it, this is specific to the Normfest brake cleaner that I'm currently using, but actually the results are very good and I'm not seeing any downsides. So this time we're going to try VTEC brake and clutch cleaner. So this is quite interesting. This brake cleaner again left no problems whatsoever on this PCB and you can see all the markings are still there. The LEDs, the capacitors, resistors and everything are completely unaffected. But this brake cleaner is obviously quite a bit stronger because this is the PCB with the flux on and you saw all of the rosin here before that I couldn't lift. This brake cleaner just completely cleaned that up, no problem. Just applied a little bit to the surface, gave it a little agitation with the brush, very little agitation, and it just lifted the lot, and then a quick blast with a bit more brake cleaner, and it's all completely clean. And the PCB has remained unaffected, no problems with the silk screen, no problem with the solder mass, nothing's gone sticky like it would do with acetone. So actually, these two products actually look quite feasible for using for PCB cleaning. If you use the slightly more aggressive one, you probably wouldn't need to do very much scrubbing at all to get a completely clean PCB. So I think that's quite interesting. No damage has been sustained to the PCBs or any of these components on the boards. And 
the ease at which it lifted the rosin when I was using the VTEC uh, brake cleaner was really quite impressive. So very little effort to lift that. That does imply that it's really quite a strong formula. In terms of the ingredients, um, they both were hydrocarbon based, no alcohols added. So the Normfest used C6, C7 hydrocarbons and the VTEC C7, C8 hydrocarbons. You can get brake cleaners with various alcohols in them. So ethanol, isopropanol, methanol and acetone. You really want to avoid those, particularly those with methanol and acetone, because those definitely can attack the PCB materials and the coatings. You'll see that your silk screen just disappears completely. Uh, it just comes off. Um, so some warnings, you should probably try your brake cleaner. If you do want to use this, you should try it on some scrap PCBs and just check the compatibility. I would say use it outside mainly because those cans are very highly pressurized, much more than PCB cleaners. Uh, it really fires it out at quite high pressure. So if you're doing it on your bench, you're probably going to get it all over your stuff as well. So you probably want to do it outside or in some better controlled area than with the normal flux cleaners. There are some very dangerous brake cleaners. I don't think they're available, at least in the UK anymore, those containing trichloroethane. They are very damaging to the ozone layer and also to humans. I don't think they're available anymore anyway, but um, there's a lot of people that warn against brake cleaners. Generally speaking, brake cleaners are just petrol or petrochemical based cleaners. So no real hazards other than uh, respiratory irritation if you're breathing in the fumes, but generally speaking, they're not too bad. So some real cost savings to be had. I think that VTEC brake cleaner only costs something like £12. It might have been £13, but very little. If you try and get 5 litres of Electrolube PCB cleaner, you're often paying in excess of £50 or £60. So quite a cost saving to be had. Uh, just caveated that you should check compatibility with your components to make sure it doesn't damage them. So I hope you found the video interesting. And until next time, thanks for watching. <laughs>